there's this thing called autonomy, which is independence. More like when you do something without anyone else telling you to do so. Much like an animal after being born, an hour or a day after being born, they start breathing, walking, and they adapt so quickly. As for us humans, we adapt for years and years and years, maybe because of their short lifespan. But for us, we de develop independence so for so long, depending on which lifestyle you live. I know some people who already left their parents' house, living alone, being independent already, with already having their financial plan, no needing of the parents' advices or someone to guide them through their journey, just alone in their career. As for some people that I know, already attain an age where for some reason it's abnormal to at least stay in the parents' house. If you're one of these people who is struggling to get independent and also felt like behind many people you know, then you should help yourself at first. The reason why I'm telling you to help yourself is because you cannot depend on other people to help you so living your own life. If you want people to control you, then ask people to guide you to know how you're supposed to live your life and not how you want to live your life or should live your life. I know it may sound pessimistic and nihilistic for me, but no one's really going to change your life unless you do change your life. No one's going to, for example, if you want to be productive, wake you up at four, telling you to go to the gym and then doing your work. For example, I knew some people who still living with the parents at like 30. Imagine for them if one day one of their parents or both of them are dead. How would they handle themselves? How would these people de so dependent with their parents will handle by themselves if they're gone? There's a chapter of The Way of the Superior Man, a book written by David Dida and the chapter was live your life as if your father was dead as if you were the father of the family the father of home the father at home the man of the home how would you handle the family how much responsibility do you have if you cannot rely on anyone except yourself think of how much responsibilities do the parents have towards their children? How to make a good example, how to be a good parent. Without the parents, the children will be chaotic. They wouldn't know where to go. They're so dependent. So you have to prove, for example, if you plan to have children, you have to prove them that you can be independent, that you can handle situations by yourself without needing mommy and daddy to solve the problem. So if you want to be an independent man, then you will need to develop very useful skills in the management space or in the self-improvement, such as how to manage your money, how to manage uh, your surrounding, how to manage your time. Compare a man and a child. A child will do the things that he feels like it. As a man, he will do the things that he doesn't feel like it. but He's supposed to do. That is why so many self-improvement influencers will preach the words that you do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. And not to do the things that you feel like doing. To become independent, you will need to sacrifice things. Sacrifice, for example, your addictions. You will need to sacrifice your bad habits. And not only that, but you will need to improve yourself to be able to become autonomous, which comes to a sense of defying your brain. You defy it by saying you don't need to do, to, to do drugs. You don't need to play video games. You don't need to jack off every day. You don't need to eat fast food. You deny your brain. You defy your brain by saying those things that you don't need to do these things 
in order to become independent. I know it's hard, but delaying gratification is worth the sacrifice. And remember, you're better than you think you are.